Oh snap, daily rap fact. I've never seen a rap dictionary that whole time. First one, bro, we wrote it, we published it. Is it fucking available to fucking buy on Amazon? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, bro. No yeah, fucking on everywhere. I didn't know that, man. That's cool, bro. Hey guys, it's Roadrunner here with Daily Rap Facts. I got the rap dictionary here. So I'm gonna open this up. Alright, the first word is ama. So ama is like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna I'm go somewhere, or I'm gonna slap you, or like, I'm gonna beat you up, you know? Like, I'm gonna, you know? It's like, I'm gonna, you know? Gold digger. <laughs> this my, this, I don't like this word. Gold digger. So basically, like, she's a gold digger. She loves money. She just, she's only with you for the money, my brother. She's not gonna be with you. If the money goes away, she's gone. So it's like, if you have a car and you, you lose your car, your license gets suspended and you have to go on the bus, she's not going on a date with you, fam. It's over. Just hang it up. She's not gonna be with you no more. Just make sure you stay on your money game because no more money, no honey, fam. <laughs> gone. <laughs> she's gonna be gone. Finsta. A Finsta, a fake Instagram where people post their closest friends and family. To me, a Finsta is like, I don't know if guys should even have a Finsta, you know, because like a Finsta is like for like, I feel like it's like for females because like females have like spam accounts and shit where like they post like their like their shit where like they post like for their close friends and shit. I don't know. I, I've never had, I would never have no Finsta. I just keep on Instagram, you know, but I don't knock on guys who have Finstas, but <laughs> I'm not going around telling man them, yo, fam. Yo, you wanna follow my finsta today? Nah, man, I ain't doing that, you know? We don't do finstas, we do insta. You know what I'm trying to say? But shotties can have finstas all they want, you know? So, yeah, if you have a finsta, you have a finsta, that's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> cunt. A cunt is a vagina. A cunt. <laughs> my homie in the car over there is a cunt. <laughs> right there. My homie right there. <laughs> <laughs> he's not listening right now. If he starts listening to me, he'll start, he start tweaking right now. I swear to God, if you heard me. But a cunt is just somebody, a piece of shit. A, you know, just a cunt. Like, you're a cunt, fam. Like, I don't call people a cunt, you know? I don't like that word. I don't call nobody a cunt. I just don't like that word in general. Fresh. So basically, fresh is fresh to be clean or new to dress and look well. So, yo, listen. You don't need to have, like, drip to be fresh. Like, you don't need to buy, like, expensive clothes or, like, luxury brands to be fresh. Fresh to me means like yo, like you're, you're basically like you're saucing it right. Like you can be buying shit at like Zara, but you're putting it together well, and you're like not like you're rocking it well. You get what I'm trying to say? So that means you're fresh. You get what I'm trying to say? So like you don't really need like designer luxury brands to look fresh. You could look fresh off of like Walmart, George, and shit. Like you buy some George and you'll be fresh. You know? You could get yeah, you could get fresh with some Walmart shit. Dog. D A W G dog, a very close friend. Like that's my dog, that's my dog. You know that song by Little Baby. Um, so a dog, your dog's like your homie, your brother. You're like, you're like closest friend. You get what I'm trying to say? Like that's your dog. You know what I mean? Dead presidents. Dead presidents. U S ca U S cash bills. Um, yeah. So dead presidents is U S cash bills. Yeah. So like, so like if you got money, you you basically got dead presidents. You know what I mean? So if you have money. In America, that means you got dead presidents. You know what I mean? C4, an explosive that can blow anything up. So, a C4? <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to know what this is. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to say, but a C4 is just something you use, I guess, in war. Like, when you're at war, like, you got, you have C4. It's like things that blow people up. And, like, if you want to blow somebody up and kill somebody with a bomb, you make sure it's a C4, fam, because it's going to work well, you know? Your boo, your boo, somebody you're dating, a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Um, I don't like calling people like, or like my, or like a sh a, sh a girl, my boo. You know, I don't like that. I feel like that's like, that's what you call somebody in high school. I like bae better. I don't like boo. Boo is just like boo. Like, what are you dealing with boo? <laughs> nah, like I like bae better. The boo's like too like played out. You know? Yeah, I don't like boo. I'm gonna leave that one. <laughs> There's a messed up ones in here, brody. <laughs> Vacay, a vacation. So vacation. A vacation is something you go travel abroad. Usually somewhere tropical, you know, a vacation. You don't really go to vacation. Like I went to the UK and I thought it was a vacation, but it was like prison. <laughs> I did not like it. I, I, could, I was counting on my days to come back. Don't go, don't go there. Don't go to the UK. So a vacation is, a vacation is like 
go to like Mexico, like somewhere like that, you know, somewhere like tropical hot, you know, where it's not raining, drizzling every day, you know. That's a vacay, you know. For me, a vacay is I'm in the trenches. So right now I'm on vacation. So like this is where I feel like I'm on vacay right now. Like I'm having fun, you know. Like when I'm around here, I'm having fun. I'm on vacay. Okay, we're gonna do Birkin, an expensive handbag made by Hermes. This is what every female desires, and like if you are a female, this is like like your like end goal in life. If you get a Birkin, you made it. It's like for men, it's like I don't know. I don't know what it is for men to be honest. But girls, if they have a Birkin, bro, bro, if you have a Birkin, like you're you you go from like a two to like a eight automatically. Like if you have a Birkin. Like that's like a status symbol, you get what I'm trying to say? So if you have a Birkin, shout out to you, you're probably getting money. But it's also something that every girl wants their man to buy them if if um if they're rich, you know what I mean? So if you're rich getting money, your girl's gonna want you to buy her a Birkin, but that shit goes for like eighty thousand dollars. That's like two down payments on a condo. We ain't do no Birkins, you know what I mean? We can do we can get you a coach bag though. We can go to Fairview Mall and get you a coach bag for sure. <laughs> you want a coach bag? I got you. Nah, I'm playing. Not no coach, but LV or some shit works. You know, something like reasonable, like two thousand dollars. I ain't spending eighty bands on a bag. I'm, I'm straight. I wouldn't even spend that on myself if I had it. Like that. You get what I'm trying to say? Like eighty bands for a bag? Nah, I ain't do that. A cum rag. Something you use to wipe semen after ejaculation. So basically, a sock, my brothers. <laughs> a sock. You know when you throw it. And it just gets hard as a child, like you fam. <laughs> That's a cum rag, my brother. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, man. A cum rag, basically like socks, fucking toilet paper, like tissue, like an old shirt, like, I don't know, my brother. A lot of things could be cum rags. Like I could go on and on and on, but I'm gonna stop right there because IG might fucking delete this, you know what I mean? I don't know. A cum rag can be a lot of things. A snow bunny, an attractive white girl. So a snow bunny is basically just white girls, fam. So if you see a white girl, usually they refer to as snow bunnies. You know what I'm trying to say? So if you see a good-looking white girl outside, she's basically a snow bunny. Like that's what it is. She's a snow bunny. You know what I'm trying to say? Wifey, that's your wife. Like you're in love, you know? That's your wife. A joint. A joint is basically like loud. Like you roll up a spliff. You, you people call it spliff. Um, I don't know, like a doobie. I don't know, that's a word too, I guess. Doobie, joint, like a, yeah, basically like a spliff, you know what I mean? Gassed up, to think you're better at something. So everybody in Toronto, basically, like every girl in Toronto, they're gassed up, like they're fives and they think they're like nines and shit, but they're gassed up for no reason. They're ugly things and they're just gassed up, man. And they're just gassed up for no good reason. Like they're not, their attitude's not good and they're gassed up and they're, their attitude's shit and they're just like they're gassed up for no reason like i hate gassed up people i could go on about this for days you know what i mean because i don't like gassed up people or you could be gassed up in the stomach like you want to fart or some shit <laughs> a cougar is an old woman who likes and dates younger men so basically a cougar is like an old lady that likes yeah, like younger guys it could be somebody that like that's like pain for you too because usually a cougar is like taking care of you so it's like for, for for girls they have like sugar daddies no homo i don't i don't like saying that word you know but so for for men we have like sugar mamas i think and like cougars you get what i'm trying to say so if you find yourself one my brother keep them because you're gonna get paid um my friend in the car i think he has a sugar mama <laughs> <laughs> Going on and on, what do you mean? You're at the whole point. Hi, Belas Broski here, fam. No, you can keep it, bro. Oh, you sure? Okay, yeah, it's all you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Man. Yeah, we got some more stuff for you. One second. What is that? You got like a rhyme book here. Yeah, Write your rhymes it. in, bro. Well, you. And you can I'm score your rappers in there. A lot, bro. Stay on your money game, because no more money, no honey, fam. <laughs> gone. <laughs> it's gonna be gone. <laughs>